Dr. Fudge posturing in places where no, uh, where he's sure that No Flame has no vision, trying to find an angle onto Frankie. That's exactly what he wanted, or what he wants. <laughs> yeah, you're calling it out perfectly with that. And if it happens, oh, Jast, finding an engage. Quick freeze combo onto Water Fudge, but he blinks the Dense Macabre at the last second. Meanwhile, on the front lines, Duende coming down, Jignut getting burst, and Waterfudge finding a huge angle! Oh my god, Waterfudge! And it's just pure destruction! Oh. Neo, Neo doesn't really have any sort of angles or anything he can do to get in there. Actually, <laughs> Gobu, ooh, the taunt finding Neo Spinner, but oh, the huge. taunt dive is massive! But it's not massive enough as no members of uh, Paid Actors goes down, but the health advantage is definitely there. Tom Shu's pushing forward, he wants to try and find a kill. Neo also stepping forward. The duck dive comes on through. He's pushing. Oh, he flew a little too close to the sun. Icarus getting his wings burnt as Neo gets brought down. Tom Shu now getting jumped on by Acta as paid. He's also going to go down, but it's a three on one. Can Gobu take anything down here? Yes, he finds one on Squirtle. Oh, but speaking of Water Fudge, he's got to do flash in. going to try to get Jast as well. We saw the bullet hit from Davis XM, but this a little bit oh, scary. No. The double freezes come through. The damage for Cobb is going a little bit wide, but it doesn't matter. The damage from No Flame is massive. And now maybe taking a little bit more off, but oh my god, that's actually a huge ball hop from Water Fudge there. Able to escape from that one. It's surrounded by red. They're going to have to push through. Yep. Just burning Tom Shu to a crisp, pushing forward. The force field is huge. The two man knockup. Oh my god. And Neo Spinner and Tom Shu go down instantly. This Jackie follow up is insane. The loop follow up with it alongside. And Goku is gonna get brought down as well. It's a Lennox. He has no mobility to get out of this. And that was so good from Geb finding that two man knockup. Get seen on vision. They are aware of Tan's little flank angle. And then maybe it's, a, maybe it's not a flank, it's more of like a triangulate as Geb starts going in on Squirtle. Where is Tan? Where is he? He's still all the way in the back. No follow up. Oh, he jumps in, finds his way on the Squirtle, but the point is ready. Great job by Actor that is paid, being ready to peel for his backliner. And yeah, they're just not able to find their angle onto this Katya, and it's gonna be a clean. F well, wait a minute. This is actually closer than it looks. Acta has paid his full health, but. If Dog and a Coke can find his way into Squirtle, it could be Kurtz. There's the knockup, but the clean sweep misses. Oh, Gib is so low. But no. Oh my god, can oh, Actors Speed no. survive long enough? It's gonna come down to time almost. Oh. No, it will not. Yeah, they are, and they looks like they're gonna be hiding up here in school because they know that, you know, at some point that the Lumi will be coming this way. Nine Eye being one of those people that definitely knows the path of Lumi very well. So he knows where he can kind of hide and wait out to see if Lumi comes around, but they're gonna have to be careful. There's a team scouting out the area. They're trying to see if there's anyone in these corners. This is so scary on the side oh of God. Dino Dance. Did they move from the other side of that wall is the question we're not even quite sure as Cat Crunchers is just waiting in the game. Oh my God, yeah. they're just waiting. Griff is telling Nine Eye, do not eat any Doritos. <laughs> do not make any noise. Not a step, not a crunch, nothing. Stay quiet. <laughs> they have no idea that this, this is, is happening. Crazy. What is this? Maybe another team fight will be starting in Temple. Sang Sang Wu pushing forward, finding the cat. But Striker is going to swap places with them and go onto the back line here. It is going to be a 1v2 on both sides, but Striker is be doing a little bit more damage. I think that this Alonzo awoke already about a quarter HP, but Rimmer trying his best to get a damage on to the other side. Nangja going to die. Dive in with the ulti. What a bunch of chaos going through Hercules. Do you have enough damage? Oh, Another no. ulti is going to go through. And now it's going to be on the side of Moldivers, actually. This might be a team wipe coming through Hercules. Unfortunately, on the theater, it's not going to be enough. Oh. And that was crazy on the side of Moldivers. And there's a team on the other side of the wall. And Nana was just crafting with the VF. I was like, are they going to try to go for it? They're still there. And they... Oh. they Oh, little, they still uh, the ward's gonna give it away. Or is it? Dinai actually getting caught out a little bit. He's not in form yet. Brought down to half health. Desert Cato actually coming back in the Duende. Manages to get out alive. Uh, Adalto's in the front. He's not able to get back. It's Yoinky back by Nine 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 finding a huge grab. Everybody's getting so low. The play dead is activated. Whoa, White Lily! Nine is in there! Team of paid actors pushing forward as another fight is actually happening in Alley, and it looks like a huge knockback from Waterfudge is going to go through. Super barely staying alive, though. He's going to use the Don Quixote and the healing from that and the yeah, passive the keeping him alive, but a 1v1 on the backside. Deus cannot fight it out against this Elena. It looks like here, 2v2 and a 1v1 going on at the same time. Super trying his best to stay alive, trying to stay away from Jignot and Waterfudge here, but he's staying alive just as fine. The healing from the Sua is just way too much, and that's Waterfudge being the last surviving member, but like we said, he knows Ooh. the waterways, and he has the White Lily. He's going to try to use it here, but now Jass is going to jump the wall as well. He's going to hit the Q, is going to hit the knockup, and I think that's Penguin Predators going down as our first team in our final game here. Why do we call them no flame, man? They're just on fire all the time! <laughs>
Oh. He uses a W. He's gonna be taking like literally no damage almost. So it's a little bit scary. Nazimi finding a team here in the corner. Nazimi does not care. Hits a triple whip at skill. Oh my god, look at the damage from Nazimi already. As Griff is able just to poke from such safety here, which you're trying to get some damage here as well, but they can't really do anything. Nana tried to find the angle in. Now Nazimi, great double man taunt inside of the ulti from the heart. It's not gonna matter oh, as his team gets fully wiped. 19 kills on the side of Dino Dance. Just to force their way through. But they're gonna take so much damage to begin with. Mage power, huge uh, <laughs> deep skill coming out. Gonna soak up all that, but unfortunately not enough damage going back out onto Anod. And now's their chance, they gotta go in. The timers are running low. The EMP barrage is gonna go out. Instantly they go onto Bems here and the ulti is gonna be ripped. As you do see Dylan going on instantly onto Anod, but it's not gonna be enough. Bems is unfortunately still alive. Does get taken out by Galazar. Galazar is gonna have to try to 1v2 this. Can he do it though? Is the question. Is it gonna get taunted? The damage is gonna come through onto Anot. The ulti is gonna go out, but a huge knockback from Anot. Is it gonna keep him alive? No, Galzar is gonna keep on looking for the angle to get on top of Anot, but I don't think it's gonna happen here. The shield is gonna go out. He does get the Q onto him. He does actually take him out. And now he's in the 1v1. Can actually Galzar clean this up for his team? He was able to find the angle thanks to the dash onto Gemos. Gemos is gonna get the taunt. I don't think Gemos has the means to do this. I think Galzar just saved his team on this oh Abigail, and that was a huge. As we have another team fight possibly breaking out here, Griff able to have a lot of good damage from the other side of the wall. Nazimi's going to the top, and look at that. The stasis has to come out so early. Griff is still half healthy. He does get knocked up twice by these guys, but the exclusive is going to keep him safe just long enough for his teammates to be able to finish this off. As Nine Eye is still completely healthy, I mean, like, what do you do here? It is so hard to fight this team. No, Nine Eye is able to get formed, so I think this should be lights out for Desiree Kato in just a second, but he is putting up a pretty good fight. Oh Maybe goodness. I'm wrong here, but just oh. barely he gets taken out by Nine Eye. have to get in against all of these double guillotines, but the nice thing is they have Estelle who can just eat these up for free, but we do have this fight already starting with Desiree Adulto going to be dashing in Nine Eye. Already having form at about half health, going to be taking a lot of damage from Desiree Kato here. Nine is going to have to use the ulti to try to avoid the damage coming through. The fear is going to come through in just a second. Griff is at about half oh HP, but still pumping the damage out. The timers are getting low, but it will not be enough to take them out. Possibly, Ooh. Nine might get actually taken down. And now it's only Nazimi against the two. What do you do against Meowie here? Desiree Kato, this is exactly what this team is known for. This guy just does not die, it looks like. Team of Run It Down is in the area, and I think they do know, so possibly another team fight here. Is this team going to walk up to the bush? It looks like the recon drone will be used. CC immunity as well. A lot of good damage coming out from NA Water Gun Man to start this. Rain of the Vampire Queen with the flash is going to close the distance here, but they get ex completely exploded thanks to oh. the Fiora damage, and Boba Boy is still completely healthy. One steady shot to do the trick, and we do have to get through here. Mobilization is going to be disabled. The rest <laughs> now going to be the other actor that is paying to hit JK back into the rest of Wanted to get the kill, I think he did, but unfortunately he is gonna fall here as Striker is in the area, unless, oh my god, he still has the flash and the white lily. Oh Rest dog might be the man. <laughs> no way! Rest dog gets away with murder here. He all too often in practice. Whoa! Racefeld trying to find an angle here. Uh -huh. His teammates are nowhere nearby. He's just kind of alone over here. They're collapsing in through the gate, though. Frankie getting found here. The knockup hits, but the dance macabre is used to try and peel him off. Frankie, the coup de gras is massive! The cuts! And GBR is pushing forward. He's trying to find Jess as well. It's so hard to get a Kenneth off of you, but if there's any character that can do it, it's Elena. She skates out the freeze connecting onto her Neil's Neo's been just Canadian. That's the Canadian side for you. <laughs> but no flame and no dino dance. You can it out again. Griff's already on the ground. Is Demi on the run from the Superior? Meanwhile, on the top side, Nine Eye kind of doing it in the 2v1. Superior forced to blink over to help his teammates as he yeah, actually kill everybody if he didn't. Yeah, a little bit scared, fortunately. Oh, oh Nana does get one. He does get the dash. I think he's barely out of that one. Jess does recognize. Oh my god, we got the res for Griff here. Nazimi is able to get the taunt. Huge bow skill. And that is one member of No Flame being taken out. Super and Jess are on the run. What a crazy turnaround. As Nana is here, picking up another member. Her meter full and lets her stack up her passive, her meter, her W. Whoa! A white lily engaged from No Flame out of nowhere. And they're going to find their way onto Dylan and take him down immediately. And yeah, it looks like Dylan is gone. Oh my god. <laughs> But Gala? But yeah, the, re the response here, I mean, they're all clumped up. Galazor is going to oh. find his way to Superior. The Revenant activated now. He's trying to revive Dylan. Is he going to get this off? Or is no flame going to be able to step forward? A taunt from Mage Power does prevent Frankie from stepping forward. Now they have to burn cooldowns onto taking Dylan down again. And that's going to be enough for Galazor and Mage Power to clean it up. 1360 kind of posturing in school. Meanwhile, down in Chapel. Oh, oh my god, that's a huge stun for Redeem. Yeah, Redeem fighting. 
the ultimate angle. And now Pitar trying to push forward, but oh, Tomshu takes him down. Now it's down to a one-on-one -on -one between Lexi and Tomshu. And Lexi's just going to give it up. She's going to walk out of here. You're... Wait out to see if this team is actually going to take the jump pad. Here we go. They're actually oh, going to take the jump pad. Does the team... Oh my god, they only sent one over. And now it looks like the fight is going to start. Griff is going to try to do the damage to Desert Kiddo. He's going to try to block as much as he can until the other team comes over here. He's trying to get back to the jump pad, but he's not going to make it here. He's going to fall. Oh, and there comes Desert one. also. <laughs> Why is he sending himself through? He thought Desert Kiddo would live fast enough. Oh my god, gloves have one is gonna go through now too is gonna use the ulti is not gonna get stunned by the bear but it's not gonna matter i am not sure what quite happened there they just funneled in one by one <laughs> there we go Wisu does get tagged by the sniper skill sniper skill is actually going off on both sides here jenny sinclair walking up to water fudge here Cairo trying to be careful doesn't want to get hit by the ulti from the marcus the smash the smithereen does get hit on Wisu. great uh flash to get back and now the ulti is going to be used a huge ulti from oh, jenny sinclair man. as well pulling all the teams together and now it's just days to get set but the bullet is going to connect not it going to spread though the oh, q stone oh. is going to hit which is huge a cypher skill oh. and i think that is going to be done for days there we go homeless laptops oh. finding their footing taking down pagan predators i'd be very pleased with the outcome of this game thus far uh you know Block C is completely undecided on all fronts. So, whoa! Oh, it's huge! Like it hot engage it My god! <laughs> Unlocked immediately, just getting bursted. And Adot is not able to get out of this at all. He's just gonna get brought down as well. What a convincing fight from you. We're gonna see them try it once again. The Flash is gonna go forward under Striker. The Flash is gonna go out again. The Kuda grab, oh. and there you go. You see the Priya ulti is gonna be huge. A huge uh, triple knockup, but I don't think it'll be enough. Effect still alive. Striker is alive as well. We just do see double stasis. And now we have the ulti from the Leanne. A huge blow up from the oh. ulti from Wokes. And yeah, like we said, the item advantage it's just way too big. The side of Go Mega Lol Boo. They're gonna keep pushing forward. Go Boo, can you hit the snake bite? It looks like the ulti is gonna go forward. Super gonna get the flash on a Neo. Huge play from Go Boo to get them away though. And Neo is still gonna be healthy enough to continue the fight. Tom Shu running out of mana a little bit here. Gonna keep pulling forward though. The ulties on the side of No Flame are gone, at least for the side of Jast which is huge as they can't get that huge freeze combo. But Tom Shu is running out of mana. He needs to call in some SP drinks fast. They do have the double guillotines going down for a little bit of safety as Tom Shu is going to keep on trying to keep Gobu healthy. I'm surprised they're trying to stand their ground here as Jast is to try to get the wraparound. They do notice it. And now they're going to try to run out the other way. Gobu doesn't have the time though. He does hit the W here. Does hit the play to keep Jast in place. And will it be enough though? Super going to find the angle out of Tom Shu. Tom Shu can hit him with the ghost light. The healing is huge. And Neo Spinner is still alive. The dance become isn't enough. Super is down this side of go megalobu is still alive they're trying to take out the body but now tom Shu is down neo you gotta take out jast here you gotta get the healing frankie is gonna go on the bike is it gonna be enough he does take him down and no no flame is actually the victim like that and uh -oh. whoa this hyper loop is crazy yeah but Cairo is not gonna be able to land the combo on akira as he does on the white lily to get out the disengage happening saying saying we already chunked the half you run it down is not gonna want to take this fight with such a deficit of uh -oh. not quite able to find his mark but they're still pushing forward jenny sinclair finding the tom to hercules are they gonna try and turn this fight around they're gonna have to try and do something here here comes the rain of the vampire queen it's gonna find his mark on the cairo here cairo getting locked up on the backside but kiraz is getting dangerously low yes kiraz goes down but now sua thrives on these situations where she can heal up so much in these scrappy fights and Run it down, ends up fighting their way out of the depths, taking down homeless laptops. They're trying to push forward, but they're not quite able to find the angle. Oh, is he gonna gallop? Is he gonna find his way onto him? No, he's Huge. not going to! The short bow ultimate connecting on the Galasaur, but the revive happening on the tail end of the fight. Dylan trying to push forward. Oh, the Johan healing is starting to pay. <laughs> the Johan healing, pay attention to it. The fight goes on for a long time, and look at that. Gris full heal already, just from a couple Johan cues. Oh my god, that is huge! Griff is as he's moving on these guys. I don't know what to say. This could be so hard on the side of Mage Power and Dylan. Dylan's gonna have to do his best here to his one shot Griff before the healing goes through. If Nazemi has his ulti up though, I don't know if it's even doable for them. This is gonna be a crazy time. We're back in duos era. It's time. We're oh, gonna see man. the two v two go down. Griff now on the side of Nazemi. What a great partner to have Mage Power playing on the side of Dylan. Dylan's gonna go through EMP Barrage goes out. They're gonna try to uh, get Griff down, but look at the healing coming through. They can't do anything to and Mage Power <laughs> is getting obliterated, but now the healing is down, but Griff got his kill. The root comes down and Dylan should follow down suit here.